Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on Informatica MDM. In today's tutorial, we are going to see one of the interesting function or capability of Informatica MDM. And that is nothing but performing lookup on different column and populating the business column with corresponding appropriate values. For example, performing lookup on the country number and getting the country code in the base object table. So how can we do that? In order to demonstrate this functionality, we have created one base object table. It is kind of lookup table. The name of table is country. And it has column country code and country number. So that is a, this is a lookup table with a two column country code and the country number. If you notice this column, these both the columns are not nullable. And also these two columns are unique. So this is kind of basic requirement we should have. Then we have also created one corresponding table called, called as individual. This individual base object table, the name that CBO individual, it has two columns. The very first column is called as a full name and the other column is country code. So assume that business scenario where the source is not sending country code. However, we want to maintain country code in our system. So that is the reason this is the full name, which is a business column, which will be supposed to be sent by source and the country code, which is defined in the MDM system only. And both the columns are nullable. So in case if, if source and null value, we should accept it. So that is the reason. Then corresponding to these two tables, we have the landing table for country landing table we have the corresponding two table corresponding two columns country code and country number which is of type varchar you can have the the country number as an integer that is no problem but for simplicity of demo we have created as a varchar of both 50 as a length for individual assume that source is sending a country number that means source is sending country number but we are populating country code in the base object table along with the country number the source also send a full name so we are accepting accepting these two values from this source for the particular given record now after defining base object table and landing table we are going to create the relationship so relationship we have created in the individual table and if you notice the relationship is is formed between the column country code from the base object of individual table and country code of the country lookup table so that is what we are defined as a relationship once you define the relationship we have we are going to create the staging table the staging table is corresponding to the source one the full name is whatever we are accepting from the source and if you notice the country code is actually is not having the lookup on the country code the reason we do not have the lookup on the country code is the we want to populate actually we want to do the because the source is going to send a number like we have the full name and country number so suppose country number one two three is coming and if you try to perform the lookup on the country code in the country table the lookup will fail and that is the reason we are going to perform the lookup on the PK source of the country table. That means PK source of the country table should be populated with the country number. So that lookup in the country table in the individual table on country code column will be performed on the PK source of the country table. And this is very important step. We have to perform the lookup on the PK source and this PQ source should be the country number in the country code. Once we do that, these are the basic configuration. Then we have created a mapping. Mapping for the country. If you notice, the country code and country number are appropriately populated in the staging table of the country. And the PQ source of the country table is nothing but the country number. Then and then only we'll able to perform this activity or will achieve this so that is the basic requirement then for the individual it's very simple it's a very straightforward mapping 
we have full name mapped to the full name continue map of the country code even we are mapping country number to the country code actually we are performing lookup on the picky source object of the country so the, it will perform the lookup on the country and it uh, correspondingly it will pick the country code and will populate in the country num country code in the individual table the picky source object of the country uh, individual table can be a different you can use a combination or you can have your another column called as individual id which will can be mapped but for simplicity we are just mapping the full name so that should be totally fine so these are the basic configuration we need to configure in the mdm hub now the next thing is we have to populate the landing table let me do refresh of this excerpt so the currently it is empty the country code country table has the two uh, records usa1 and in india as a two so country code is usa and ind however the country nbr is one and two in the individual landing table we have the one full name b paul and we are populating country number as a one so that means in the landing of the individual we have the country number however in the base object we want to populate the country code not country number so let's perform the sub jobs so first we'll run the stage job let's run the stage job for the country but before running this job let's have a look on the base object tables what data it has so very first table i'm going to say is a country base object if you see there is no data present then we'll see the individual and no data present so that is the current state now we'll go and run this mapping let's run the country mapping it should load two records into the staging table so this is correct let me show you what is the current records in the staging table So these are the two records loaded in the country table. If you see the PQ source of the country table is 1 and 2 because country number is mapped and the country code is populated correspondingly along with the country number. Then we are going to load the individual table, individual mapping. It loaded one table and this is the table got loaded, one record loaded in the staging table of the individual. Let's see what are the values we have if you remember we have the lookup on the country number so the picky source is full name that is correct and if you see the country code in the staging table is one but however in base object we want country code as a it's a value either USA or IND because these are the two countries available in our reference table till the staging table the values will be as equivalent to the source now we are going to do the load job and we'll see how it works let's run first the country uh, load job on the country table so we ran and two records loaded into the base object table of the country here we are going to see in the database whether everything is working fine or not let's go ahead and check the country table we can see the two records successfully loaded with the country code as a USA and IND and a country number as well we'll quickly check the excerpt table also because we want to check the PQ source object now if we notice the PQ source object is based on the country number that is the we have defined the pk source now let's go ahead and run the load job for the individual the job is very quickly finished because we have only one record and it is successfully inserted into the base object of the individual if you want to see you can see the record is loaded with row id object one 
is completely new and you can see here the country code is not a number but it is a, a country code USA so even the source sending the country number we are able to populate the country code as a USA so by this way you actually achieving the country code to be populated using the country number there is one more interesting factor you can see in the individual x-ray the PQ source is fine because it is based on the full name that should be ok the full name is populated appropriately the country code is populated USA and not number however the shadow column country code is having the value which is exactly same from the source that is country code shadow column has the value as a country code number or country number that is one so this is important step to trace down what is the exact value having in the source however the MDM having the USA as a value I hope this is very simple tutorial but it's going to help you a lot in your MDM implementation to populate appropriate values in your actual MDM based object table even the source contain the different values so this can be achieved by creating the relationship and defining the appropriate lookup I hope if you got uh, you got some uh, new information in today's tutorial if you um, if you have any queries or question you can mention the comment section of this video thank you for watching my video and have a nice time